Hello everybody, it's Coffee Morning with Carlos Moral, where I play a game based upon top secret criteria whilst drinking my morning coffee until my cup is dry. Actually, it's not Coffee Morning today, it's Lemsip Morning because I haven't been feeling very well. <clears throat> I've been quite poorly, I've had a poorly cough and everything. Anyway, we, today we're going to be looking at Seraph, which is a run and gun action game from Dreadbit, an indie developer. It was released on the 20th of September 2016, so it's basically on the bleeding edge. Every now and again, whilst messing about with the ever-growing flood of indie games, I find something pretty bloody incredible. It's always a bit of a surprise, to be absolutely honest, since the majority of these titles are, at best, described as shovelware, I guess. Happily, for everyone concerned, Seraph falls into a very different category. One, which I am going to snappily title, Games that are really good, my honest, you should check out. How's that for branding? Seraph is a 2D platform shooter with an otherworldly mystical theme. You play as Seraph, who appears to be an angel manifested in the vessel of a human woman. She begins the game locked away in a high security prison, but is set free when the demon hordes attack. Isn't that always the way? You can't get peace and quiet for five minutes with all these nightmares from beyond the veil popping up all over the shop. So Seraph is sort of like Supernatural's Castiel, only if instead of being all gruff voiced and comically drawn to pornography, he was an acrobatic dual gun wielding death machine. Perhaps they're saving that for next season. The game is designed to be played and replayed as you need to pick up lots of crap dropped by your foes in order to boost your skills, obtain new special powers in the form of miracles and basically rank up your badassness. Yes, that is a word. In order to keep the challenge balanced as you fine-tune your Angel of Death, the game scales its difficulty according to a point scale at the bottom of the screen. Do well and the number will climb, giving your enemies better abilities with which to slaughter you. Repeatedly get slaughtered, however, and the number will decrease, lowering the toughness of your enemies with a trade-off that their loot drops will be less powerful. The system seems to work well, and the developer is in close touch with the community playing the game, providing tweaks to the game's system so that the pitch is just right. Although Seraph is a run-and-gun title, the gameplay mechanics are somewhat different to a Contra-style game. Firstly, you don't need to aim your weapons to take down enemies. Rather, the focus is more on you avoiding the enemy's projectiles and other attacks through air dashing and platforming. Seraph automatically targets, although you can select an enemy you want to prioritise with a flick of the right thumbstick. Small in number at first, enemies soon become plentiful and keeping Seraph out of harm's way is a considerable challenge. Where Dreadbit's game succeeds most of all is by making the player feel like an absolute super skilled wrecking machine. You flip and twist from all manner of surfaces whilst blazing away at enemies with guns akimbo dash through an approaching blast and then drop down a couple of floors before leaping up again into the action, scattering foes with a powerful special ability. Yes, the enemies are tough, but so are you. Even your regular or an upgraded weapon feels like it's tearing through demon scum like a regular mortal might tear through a Greg steak bake on a chilly Saturday lunchtime. Let's see what the uh, developer themselves has to say about their game. Seraph is a skill-based acrobatic platformer without aiming featuring an angel known as Seraph who's fighting to restore her lost power and ultimately escape a prison infested with demons. However, dark magic has trapped the angel inside her human vessel. If the vessel dies, so will Seraph. And they're not wrong. Absolutely worth 10 quid for any PC gamer with the slightest interest in action gaming. I can strongly recommend Seraph not just as an example of a good indie game, but as a great game full stop. It's nice to support the indie scene, but it's even nicer when they reward us with something as well polished as this. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please don't hesitate to drop a like or share this out amongst your friends so that everyone else can appreciate the glory that is... Me no, not me. Uh, Seraph, that's it. Appreciate the glory that is Seraph. And I'll look forward to seeing you again next time.